Welcome to Firefighting in Canada This Week. I'm Mariah Campbell, and today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. This week, a team of students at the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology have developed the concept for a flying emergency rescue vehicle. Then, in the September edition of Firefighting in Canada, Samantha Hoffman discusses the importance of understanding dementia in the fire service. And Canadian Firefighter Magazine's Training Day and Career Expo are coming up next Saturday, September 28th. A team of students at the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology have developed the concept for an aerial emergency rescue vehicle, codenamed Skywalker, that is designed to save people from skyscrapers. The team was inspired in part by the tragic events of 9-11, said team member Nya Vu in a news release. Skywalker is a piloted quadcopter platform that can rapidly extract multiple people from high-rises and skyscrapers. It's meant to be compacted and transported to incidents by an emergency vehicle or trailer. The apparatus looks like a drone but is the size of an SUV, reports the CBC. It flies up to an altitude of 800 meters and is capable of rescuing up to six passengers at a time. The device can also assist firefighters and their equipment to any floor. The concept is a finalist for an Asset Capstone Project of the Year Award. The design team is currently showcasing the concept to investors and accepting bids for building a working prototype, CBC reports. In the September edition of Firefighting in Canada, Samantha Hoffman discusses how the fire service can better understand dementia to better protect communities. A person with dementia suffers from symptoms that affect day-to-day -day abilities. Memory loss and other symptoms can put them at a greater risk of causing fires. Persons afflicted may put themselves in danger by forgetting to turn off the oven or may get confused when smoke alarms sound. For these reasons, first responders are more likely to come into contact with people who struggle with dementia and need to know how best to communicate. Hoffman opens up about how Alzheimer's has touched her family life. She discusses best practices for how firefighters can approach or communicate with those afflicted with the disease on scene. To learn how you can better communicate with your community, head to firefightingincanada.com. Canadian Firefighter Magazine's Training Day and Career Expo are fast approaching. The events will be held on Saturday, September 28th at the Fire and Emergency Service Training Institute in Mississauga. Career Expo, sponsored by FESTI, is a full day designed for candidates looking to get hired or those considering becoming a firefighter. New this year, participants interested in firefighting can take a tour of Firefighting Training Day and see plenty of live action. Training Day, sponsored by Fort Gary Fire Trucks and Target Solutions, offers free training to firefighters in a variety of areas. Spaces for the remaining hot courses are limited. Visit the event websites for more information and to register. This is Annex Business Media's Niche TV. Thanks again to VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. Stay tuned for our next episode on Friday, September 27th.